Well, today we have uh, uh, Malcolm Williams with us today, and uh, Malcolm is going to be a senior. And I know you're heavily involved in school, Malcolm. Um, could be before we get going, maybe we should take our masks off so we're we're not so muffled. Yeah, like that. Good, and it shows your handsome face and your great smile. Um, Maybe introduce yourself to the uh, the Saints community. Uh, I'm, most people know who you are. You're, you're kind of a guy that everyone knows. But why don't you go ahead and just introduce yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, once again, my name is Malcolm Williams. Uh, I'm the captain on the varsity football team. Um, I'm also going to be a three-year letter on the varsity basketball team. Uh, last year, I was on the ASB news and media team. And then this year, I'm just going to be a senior class officer. Um, you sound. You seem like you were having quite a bit of fun with the social media thing last year. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it was it was fun, just kind of get a new experience, um, just talking in front of people and and doing fun little skits with uh, with my friends and and yeah, it was it was kind of fun to, to open up to the Saints community. Mm -hmm. We well, did a great job with that. So I want to take you back to uh, March, mid March last year when uh, we went from in person instruction to. Uh, online instruction and I, I just like your impressions of that day uh, I, I know a lot of guys I heard some cheering kind of almost like we're out for summer and and then maybe the reality of 10 weeks online began sinking in tell me about that uh, yeah well at first it was it was kind of exciting because we were coming into to spring break Easter break so of course you know we were all excited we felt like we were gonna get an extra break but kind of like when it all set in uh, you know, we all wanted to go back to school, the normal school, because as being online was, it was boring. It was kind of hard to focus. Um, it it didn't bring too much excitement like a regular school day would. Mm -hmm. So, I I in at Saints, you know, before you came to Saints, I, I don't know what your educational, uh, where you went or anything like that, but what would you say is different about Saints than other schools? Uh, most definitely, I feel the love from everybody. Every every day I come here, teachers, faculty, staff, uh, students, especially coaches, football, basketball. Um, everyone feels like like one here, and I I never really felt that from anywhere else, even from the teams I played on before or from the from the elementary school I came from before. So it kind it kind of sounds weird that you look forward to school. Most guys don't look uh, forward to school. What is your favorite activity when you come to school on a given day? W what do you look forward to? On any given day? Well, my favorite activity as a community is Mass, but particularly um, the sign of peace during Mass because we all walk around the entire gym just to give peace to everybody, give everybody hugs. But um, just on a, on a regular day, just being in class, you know, any class is with my friends, mm -hmm. um, even though it's a solid learning environment. Um, I'm still having fun. I know you have fun. Um, so tell me about how you, you kind of answered this, but being in an online situation, um, how did that feel like inside yourself when you were doing it day after day? Um, well, like the positive thing about it was I learned self-discipline and I learned that I needed to focus more. You know, I was on kind of like my own time, so... Um, it kind of helped me be more organized, but um, a negative part about it was I just felt I felt dull, I felt dry. Everything was just the same thing every day. Um, you know, you clock into some of your classes on Zoom, and maybe he or she talks for a couple of minutes, thirty minutes, and then um, and then you get off, and then you do homework, and then that's it. You know, I was at home by myself all day. Both my parents worked, so it wasn't like I was turning around to my friends and saying anything. Um, and that was definitely the biggest difference between being in a traditional school situation and being online is I didn't have that camaraderie with uh, all of my friends. So you're going to be a senior next year, um, kind of a lot on the line for you. And uh, the governor's order has put us in an online situation again. We had been planning for a hybrid uh, kind of setting where you would be on campus four days a week, off one day a week. Um, and I know for a senior, there's so many things going on in the normal day that all of you guys take advantage of. How does that feel? Uh, w w what if we, 
I, I just saw uh, on the in the morning paper today that uh, San Diego Unified might be online for over a semester. Like, h how would your senior year be if th if that were the case? Uh, I think my senior year would just be it would be terminated. I mean, that's how I would feel. Um, you know, last year we had missed the junior bow dance, so we couldn't do that. And I know the seniors last year that missed their prom. Um, and and this whole year, I mean, no homecoming, um, football games. De you know, depending on what's gonna happen with that basketball games, just the things that really make up a high school experience beyond just being in the classroom would just be destroyed. Well, Malcolm, thank you. Uh, I want to wish you the very best of luck, and I really appreciate your time here today. Um, and I guess uh, go Saints. Thank you. <laughs>